Hey everybody, wondering what to do with your lame duck? Here's an idea. Why don't we uh, get rid of the death penalty? Um, Speaker Roberts seems to feel that way anyway. Calling capital punishment a uh, paper deterrent and the epitome of false security, he vowed an assembly vote to abolish the death penalty on December 13th. Um, to do so legislatively would make New Jersey a first in the country, a distinction that, according to Sister Helen Prejean of Dead Man Walking fame, would uh, make New Jersey a model for the country and the world. New Jersey would be the first, and you're doing it right. The model that you are doing here is going to be held up around this country and around the world, and I'm going to be a personal ambassador of it. Because what you're doing, you've done it steadily. You've informed the citizens. The citizens are asking for it. You have a really good plan to take death off the table and just acknowledge that we as frail human beings who make a lot of mistakes from filling potholes to collecting taxes can't take it on ourselves to be the arbiters of life and death. Friday morning State House press conference, this is a stunning turnout, a testament to Sister Helen's enduring star power long after the Oscar-winning movie Dead Man Walking, where she was portrayed by Susan Sarandon. For y'all literary types, Dead Man Walking is also a book. There's Sister Helen with Speaker Roberts, who is eager to explain why now. The central work and, and the public dialogue and, and building support was the process that was engaged in by the Bipartisan Study Commission. I think, as, as, as Sister Helen alluded to, that was a process that was extremely open. Uh, law enforcement involvement, uh, uh, victims, uh, survivors of victims, families, people all across the spectrum. As I said, five public hearings, more than 70 witnesses, and, and with only one dissent, this bipartisan committee, fully reflective of viewpoints across the spectrum, recommended that we abolish the death penalty in New Jersey. So I think in many, many ways, they've done a significant amount of the work that is necessary to build public support for it. And I think the legislature is prepared to take their work product and advance it. Finally, folks, spare a thought for Assemblyman Freddie Caraballo, an original sponsor of the bill who said that if this becomes his political legacy, he couldn't be prouder to have that on his epitaph.